Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I just want to show you how to block open ports on a Linux server using firewalls. So before we begin, let's just discuss what an open port is real quick. So open ports, I can actually list them with this command right here. But open ports are essentially just ports that accept external traffic. This allows them to communicate with the technologies that are running on that port. So for example, on port 80 right here, I have Nginx running and it's listening for connections. So when it receives a connection, it'll send back um, web application content. So clearly this port is needed to be open or users wouldn't be able to access the website. However, ports should only be open if they are needed. For example, database ports do not need to be open to the public. So right here, I have a database running on port 8003 and there's not really any reason for this because it's usually just my application that's interacting with the database and a single bug in the database or a weak password could allow anyone to access and query this database. So a good thing to do is to block this port with a firewall. So in other words, we can use a firewall to block the port on a network level without closing the application. And real quick, a firewall is just a network security device or software that monitors and controls network traffic. Basically, firewalls are, used, are configured to follow a set of rules. And Linux provides us with something called IP tables which is a utility command to manage firewalls. So what I want to do is use IP tables to create some rules that drop packets destined for um, my open ports were that I don't need are 8001 and 8003. So let's create a rule to block any kind of traffic coming in from those. And so that can be done with this rule right here. So this tells our server to drop any incoming packets that are coming into ports 8001 and 8003. So right here, dash T specifies the table and filter is essentially a table used in IP tables to filter out packets. So essentially IP tables has a few different tables with different functionalities. And one of them is filter for working with packet filtering rules. And what we're doing here is we're appending a rule to the end of the input chain. And a chain is just a collection of rules. So essentially it goes table, chain, and rules. So a table consists of chains, and then the chains consist of rules. And here we're specifying the protocol to TCP and we're matching the ports. So this is destination ports, 8001 and 8003. So any incoming packets, let's filter them. If they're TCP and match these ports, what we're gonna do is drop these packets. And essentially drop makes the connection appear unoccupied. So after I run this command, any attempts to connect to ports 8001 and 8003 will create a connection timeout. And we can list these rules. So now if I run this, oh, forgot the I on here. So if I run this here, I actually already created this rule, so I have a duplicate, but for now, just ignore that. Essentially what I did right here is just list out all rules for the filter table and incoming packets. And one thing to note is that if you still check, so say I still look at my open ports like this, we can see that these are still listening because the service is still running. So the service is still listening out. It's just, it will be blocked on the network level if anything tries to connect. So that's why 8003 and 8001 are still saying listening, but we have these rules right here that will block anything coming in. But that's all I wanted to show you in this video. If you like content like this, consider checking out my course in the description, also my Chrome extension called Witceptor. You'll probably find it pretty cool. But besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.